Hey guys, Joseph here from Jojo's Effects. I forgot my name for a second. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a little uh, video on uh, my webcam just so I can give you guys a little review of three different products. Now, one of them is Plastidip. They're all going to be rubber based paints, just so you know. Uh, Plastidip is the most expensive brand to get in Australia. It is $30 plus, depending on what color you get from Autobahn. I can only find it at Autobahn, and it is damn expensive. Now, I love this brand. This is one of my favorite brands. However, it's just too damn pricey for me, and for someone who's constantly making masks, I need to make smart financial business decisions. I can't do it anymore. I haven't been able to do it for the past several years. I think it's been a year or two, uh, so I've just, still just got cans hanging around, which is nice for this little review type thing. Um, now, the next brand is the cheapest out of all three. However, I have had so many issues with this goddamn brand that I don't recommend it, but it's there, and that is Peel Coat uh, from rust -Oleum. Now, I have had multiple uh, cans start to clog up after one usage, and this is me after cleaning the lid with terps and scrubbing it and making sure everything is <sighs> nice and uh, fluid. You can, you can get stuff through it. Uh, but no, I always have issues with this brand. Now, if you want to do a one-day giant paint of, like, multiple masks or multiple peppercoras or multiple whatever, go for it. It's cheaper by $1 than the other brand that I highly recommend. <laughs> but, uh, personally, uh, I don't know. I don't suggest it. Now, uh, the one good thing, though, is uh, Bunnings always has this in stock because no one knows it's there. Uh, I've always found this, which is nice. Um... But I don't personally recommend it. I suggest getting this one right here from Super Cheap Auto. This is Custom Wraps. Uh, I just bought this then, so I'm very excited to use this. Uh, Custom Wraps Black Paint. I've been using this for the past several months since I found it. Uh, I think since mid last year. And holy crap! Um, this is almost on par with uh, with plastic. It's actually it comes in uh, no same same amount. Uh, almost ten dollars cheaper. I think it's seven dollars cheaper than plastic dip, so it's twenty-three dollars. Um, and it comes with a very different nozzle. Now this nozzle is ridiculously easy to clean up, and uh, it is I, it, it, it's just it's smart. This is a very smart made uh, rubber base paint. It bonds to latex like nothing else. Now I've only got experience with uh, painting on latex. I haven't got experience with painting on foam, but I'm assuming it's going to be the same because you know flexibility, it won't eat away at it, you know, good stuff. Now I'll show you something that I have painted with it. This is my uh, Master Wolverine cow. Now as you can see, sorry for the webcam footage, but this is all I got right now. Uh, this is the black that it sprays. Now this is quite a dark bike. There's a few little s bits of dust there, sorry about that. Uh, but it bonds like nothing else. It is a nice, rich, deep black. Uh, I'll show you another thing that I made with it, painted with it, sorry. Um, honestly, this is a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic rubber base paint. Personally, I suggest this. If you live within Australia and you live near a super cheap auto, you can get them to order it in. You can, you know, just, just use this stuff. Uh, they've only got a few colors, though. Uh, that's the one thing. Plastic Dip has the widest color range. Uh, rust -Oleum only has black and white. And uh, Custom Wraps has, I think, four or five colors. So this this has a wider range than this one. So screw this one. Don't even use it. Use Custom Wraps. Uh, it is fantastic for making anything to be anything. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. It's perfect for painting latex. It's perfect for painting foam. It's perfect for having a good time. Who cares? Uh, so thanks very much for watching, guys. I personally suggest this. I suggest you get it. Uh, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe, I guess. You can do what you want. doesn't matter. I'll see you guys next time with uh, more updates coming soon, hopefully. Oh, it's also been a long time. It's been like a six months since I've done a video. So, hi! How's it going, guys? I don't have that many loyal viewers. Anyway, bye!